YouTube. It's Eric from Eric Flight again. How are you? I hope everything's going well for you. Uh, today's video, just wanted to go over uh, how I flight sim. I'm going to do a review on the yoke and rudder system that I use for uh, flight simming and for practicing for flying. Uh, I have another lesson on Saturday, about 14.2 hours in, and uh, things are looking good. Um, we still have to go over the pre-solo flight questions and he also started uh, told me to start uh, studying for the written private pilot uh, exam. Um, I've been doing some of the sample tests online already, and uh, you know I need more work on uh, reviewing. But we—I mean—I haven't reviewed since like ground school. I showed you that binder in another video and talked about ground school and what you should do in pursuing a private pilot license. I'll leave a, a link to the video in the description uh, if you're into that. But um, let's get to the review of uh, the rudder pedals and yokes that I use. And uh, just a note, I've actually been flight simming now for a little over 20 years. And uh, this is probably the best setup I have so far. However, there are some things that I want to get that just aren't uh, feasible for me to get right now because I'm saving my money for uh, the lessons, the actual flight lessons and stuff. But uh, all right, let's check it out. So first step, what I'm using for uh, flight simming is my laptop. This is a MSI GT72. Uh, was very powerful about two years ago. It's uh, more than powerful enough to run FSX, uh, just not with three monitors, for which I do have. I'll tell you one thing: if you go to three monitors, you would probably never go back after having three monitors. So it's a, a great thing to do. Uh, below that, I have my keyboard. Just plug into the laptop. Sorry about a little bit of mess, by the way, it was tax season a couple weeks ago. This is the uh, Steel Series. I believe it's the Apex 350. And right below that, I have what I consider the best yoke I've ever used. Especially if you're uh, practicing for private pilot and you fly a Cessna. I have the SciTech uh, Cessna um, yoke. And I also have the SciTech Cessna rudder pedals. And you'll notice that Cessna has licensed these. Uh, out <clears throat> to uh, SciTech. There was an issue with getting these. Uh, I guess there was like a, a manufacturing delay or something like that. Um, so finding these, you can find these on eBay. For example, I bought these actual rudder pedals used on eBay. Um, I paid a pretty penny for them still though because back then it was more rare than it is now to get them. I think I paid like 175 I think they go for $199.99 usually online. So um, I didn't get much of a discount on that, but I wanted them. I wanted to start practicing, so I was doing the uh, flight training, starter flight training. So uh, the great thing about these is they have uh, the actual rudder pedals that are found in the Cessna. Um, you know, the same design and everything. Uh, they are spaced out more far apart. And then this middle here, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a tension thing. So you can actually make them not move as much. So it's a little harder to push, or you can make it less by turning left. So now they're easier to push, okay? I make mine about there. So that's the tension right in the middle. And uh, that is about what it feels like to me, at least, in the Cessna. Um, the way I have this attached, by the way, is I have uh, Velcro on the bottom. This is a carpet. So I have the, um, the hard, bristly part of the Velcro attached to the bottom of these and I believe it does come with some velcro but again I bought my new so I just bought some velcro by myself put it on the bottom they have like two little areas underneath each of these to put the velcro on and uh, it's never slid so if you have carpet it's uh it's the best way to do it I think um you know it just kind of sticks there uh okay the other thing is just the Cessna yoke now what makes this uh, better than the other SciTech uh yoke sorry about the uh screen monitor there there but you can actually do like a real Cessna you can go a full 90 degrees on both sides uh, other yokes will just go about here and here they won't go the full 90 uh, not that it makes a huge difference I mean I, I this is the best yoke I've ever used though you have your hat switch here okay uh, this if you use squawk box or online air traffic control it's just like a Cessna you can actually program this to be your your communication button for uh, air traffic control and again I, I use headphones sometimes with my actual my actual headset from flying uh, these buttons are all programmable okay uh, you can save three different 
different uh, setups on the Oak. This is uh, one, two, three. And uh, it does come with software for both the rudder pedals and the yoke. And also, I bought the Cesar SciTech yoke, and it comes with the thrust panel uh, option if you want it to. Uh, you've got thrust, you've got prop, and you've got mixture. Um, this is something I would want to replace in the future once I get money and uh, just enough drive to do. They actually sell. Um, I believe it's called a TPM, but it's basically, it has the Cessna things where you can pull it out and I'd mount it right here, just like a real Cessna, so you'd have your throttle and your mix. And then uh, these buttons right here are programmable. And the great thing is that everything plugs in. They, they give you extra USB ports in the back here. I don't know if you can see that, there you go. They give you extra USB ports to plug in. And honestly, I just have it plugged into the back of my Apex keyboard, because everything is over here with my laptop, so. Uh, yeah, the screen didn't hold, by the way, so don't make fun of my little temporary fix on the uh, laptop there. But, um, yeah, it's uh, metal right here. I mean, it has an excellent, it's probably the best feel I felt in a yoke. Uh, I used to own the CH Products uh, yoke. I still have it. It's in the closet. And I used to own the CH, CH Product uh, rudder pedals. Uh, they, they pale in comparison to this. This is the ultimate setup for Cessna, at least the yoke and the rudders. Again, I'm gonna get a new throttle quadrant. But what some people do is if you like flying the jets in Flight Simulator, they'll get different knobs. You can actually take these off, which I'm not gonna do, but you can actually like, pull these off carefully and then get another one of these knobs and they'll make it so that it's uh, like jet engines, one and two, okay? You can make this go to something else. You could program everything. So the next thing I wanna do is just take a quick look at the software. But again, I highly recommend the SciTech Cessna yoke and rudder pedal, especially if you're doing your private uh, pilot training, because it's probably the closest that you're gonna to get to the actual uh, Cessna that you fly if you fly a Cessna. So and that includes the 172 or 152, so. So as you can see right here, they have the Pro Flight Cessna yoke. ProFlight says in the rudder pedals, I'm going to do the yoke, and this is just in the uh, little menu there. Right click, and you can actually set defaults, like this is my uh, FS2004. The reason why I'm still using Flight Simulator 2004, by the way, is because it just works better on the three monitor setup with flame, frame rates and stuff, and I have tons, tons of scenery that I've installed. I've literally taken about two months of my time to install all the scenery, and I backed it up so I never have to do it again. But of course, I have FSX also, which is... Um, not as good on my laptop with three monitors. However, my laptop is not like, you know, a full out desktop. So if you're gonna get like the two video cards, SLI, that thing, that's the way to go. But anyways, if you go to this profile editor, it's gonna have this box pop up, okay? And you can basically program all the keys on the yoke. Okay, so like you point to the key, and it'll tell you what it is, and you can actually program it. And then you can save that as a profile, which will automatically load when you when you start a program, such as uh, Flight Simulator 2004. Uh, same thing with the yoke and all these buttons. You can, you can program to different things. You do not have to use, you do not have to use what they tell you to use. You see, right one, I'm even pushing the buttons on the thing now. It's just, it's going to the buttons that I'm pushing. And you can tell it to do like a, a keyboard press. So you can have something would be like the landing gear. Um, the other thing I would like to get too is a trim wheel. Uh, right now I'm using this button right here. The up and down part of that, uh, L3 and L2. I'm using that for trim. Uh, they actually do sell a trim wheel, just like the Cessna. And again, it's SciTech, uh, Cessna, um, equipment and it's just a great thing so that is the uh, software portion of you could set to any button you want in the flight simulator and then you can save it as a profile okay um, you can load profiles like this is my 2004 one and there's only one thing that I, I switched it from and that was this scroll lock button again that was for uh, that sim so when I push L1, which is that little button, just like on the, the yoke of the uh, Cessna 152, when I click this, it will let me communicate with air traffic control. 
So it just made it more realistic so I don't have to keep pushing scroll lock to talk to them when I have my headset on. All right, uh, let's look at the rudder pedal uh, software. Okay, here's the rudder pedal software, just like the yoke software, only for rudder pedals. And again, we go to programming. And you can program uh, what the right toe does, what the left toe does, and ultimately what the rudder, you know, pushing back and forth on the rudder does. Uh, I don't have anything programmed here because I just let uh, the Flight Sims um, program that. But again, look at these pedals. They're built just like the Cessna. Again, the only difference between this and a Cessna is that these pedals would be closer together in an actual plane. Uh, by having it spread apart, by the way, honestly, when you're sitting in a computer chair, um, it just it makes it easier to keep your, your legs a little bit more spread apart. It makes it a little more comfortable because the way that you sit in a chair versus a plane is just a little different. Uh, in a plane, it's comfortable. I mean, it's very tight, but it's comfortable. But uh, anyways, you know, there's only three things that you can edit on the rudder pedals, but it's very versatile. It's really easy software to have, and, and again, if, if you're going to do private pilot training and you're flying a Cessna, even a Piper, I mean, I'll be honest with you, these are just the best yoke and rudder pedals I've ever used. So that is my review of yoke and rudder pedals from SciTech, and uh, including the throttle qu quadrant, uh, excuse me, the throttle quadrant, which came with the uh, Cessna yoke. Again, I believe there's a version that you can just buy the yoke and not have the throttle on, but... I figured I'd just get it both and then upgrade it as I go. Uh, if I get any more uh, equipment as I upgrade, they have a lot in the SciTech line. It's just hard to get sometimes because of manufacturing and all that stuff. But uh, if I uh, get more, I'll, I'll do more reviews. So that is what I use for flight controls on the flight sim for now at least. Hey YouTubers, just to remind you, uh, we'd love it if you subscribe to Eric Flight below. And also, check out my Patreon page if you'd like to support me directly. Uh, anything would help uh, to basically further our adventure uh, in flight and flight simulation. And I appreciate just watching uh, my videos. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in the future.